What's up guys, Champ here, bringing you another Infinite Warfare gameplay. Today what I got for you is a nasty gameplay on the map retaliation. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go on like a 50 kill streak, and I'm going to get the deatomizer strike. I always flash the class setup at the beginning of just so I can let you guys know what I'm working with. And I'll talk about it just a little bit. Those of you guys that watched my last game might have realized that I said that I had two deatomizer strikes right in a row. This was actually the first one. And then I got another one right afterwards, which was my last gameplay that I showed you guys. And both these gameplays were very good. Both these gameplays were basically versus the same people, and I just kind of whooped up on them. It was kind of fun because they were all on their mics and talking about it afterwards. So that was kind of cool to see. Don't mind that little bad shots I just took right there. That's not a big deal. So I'm going to die about three times, I be believe, at the beginning of this game. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start my deatomizer streak. Start that 50 kill streak that I was talking about. Two of these three deaths at the beginning are like a common death that I've been getting here in a Infinite Warfare. It's just that I keep shooting my guys. And it's not even like I'm shooting at them and being dumb with it. It's more like I'm shooting and then they run right in front of me. You guys might have noticed that in the first death. The second death, actually, I just kind of die. I couldn't get my aim on target. Sometimes with this uh, NV4, the hip fire is not that great. So when you run into those really close gun battles, you could get destroyed. But then I'm going to take another death right here. And this is going to be the last death that I take for a long time in this game. Maybe even the last death that I show in this game. And this one's going to be exactly like the other one. Had this death not occurred, I could have went on a really nasty kill streak in this game if I just kind of added these kills to the other kills that I got so look I'm rolling and look what does he do he runs right in front of me I was already on like an eight kill streak right there I was rolling but whatever that's all right he it happens this is hardcore that's probably one of the worst things about hardcore and now I'm going to start my deatomizer strike right here I'm going to start off pretty nice I'm going to play pretty strategic to get this deatomizer strike and I'm just going to kind of move around the map until I get to where I want to be, to the stronger points in the map at the time. And I'm just going to kind of chill there and pick up a bunch of kills. Once I get to about a 20 gun streak in this game, I do play it a little slow just because I wanted to make sure I did get this deatomizer strike. At this point in time, it has been a couple days since I actually got one, so I wanted to make sure I pulled it here. And then the funny thing was I got one the very next game anyways. I guess they come in streaks. I've been coming very close a lot more often now. I've been going on a lot of 20 gun streaks. A lot of, you know, just high teen gun streaks. So I'm going to be pulling in a lot of deatomizer strikes coming up. I am liking this NV4, but like I said, the only thing bad about it is the hip fire is the up close engagements. So I'm going to kind of just hold down this area right here for a little bit. This is a strong point in this map. A lot of people want to try to play the objective, so I'm going to take them off as they're trying to get B. He had this little bubble right there. When they have the bubble on, you can't shoot through it, they can't shoot you. But if you just kind of aim in and keep firing at it, as soon as the bubble disappears, or you pop the bubble, then you get the kill. So it works out good that way. You just want to be the first person to be hit the other guy. That's why I just fired my whole clip into him. I run the mana arms, and I really never run out of ammo here in hardcore, considering you don't really need a lot of bullets to kill someone. So your ammo goes a lot further in hardcore than it does in regular core game mode. I'm going to get a good amount of my kills for this uh, deatomizer strike right here in this first half. I'm already on a merciless, got my warden up, got the vulture up. I don't know if you guys heard me talk about the vulture, but the vulture has been dominant for me in hardcore lately, ever since they buffed it. So definitely go ahead and try that out. The warden's pretty dominant always, so if you're not using the warden, you're doing something wrong right there. The class setup I got on my NV4 for, for attachments, I got quick draw, stock, suppressor, and extended mags. I like the extended mags better than dexterity just so you can go on a lot of like five six kill streaks without even having to reload. It works out very good and you get a little extra ammo so you never really have to worry about ammo at all. For the perks in this game I got on I believe it's uh, Heartline and Ghost and I think that's the only two perks that I got on because I got the ELO site and on the ELO site I got this fancy little uh, star triangle thing here. I like it. It stands out. The, little, the green stands out for me so I find it easy to get on target with this. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but my warden is going completely off in this game. I just picked up my roof list right there and the half is almost about to end. So I'm going to play it safe. I'm not really going to 
go out too far from here. I know they're pretty much coming to the left. I don't want to show my face. I kind of overused that spot as it was anyway, so it was good that the half ended right there so I could switch it up before they all come try to hunt me down. Now in this half, I'm just going to kind of stay along this wall right here. I find this to be the best way to just make sure I got those extra kills that I needed so I could make sure that I got this deatomizer strike. So I just kind of wall run back and forth. I don't know where he came from. That was kind of funny. Thankfully, he didn't kill me. So I'm, my team's about to come over here and take that base. So I already know. Instead of going to that base, I'm going to run over here and try to catch them maybe while they're taking A. Because that's how it works. You take C, they're going to take A. That's how domination works in this game. Just as I predicted, here they are. They're all on A. I'm going to take a nice little two-piece out right there. I'm going to stick around. Throw another warden up in the air, and I'm going to take out the third person. So now I'm getting very close to this deatomizer. I'm on a 20 streak. So I'm going to go back to my spot here, and I'm just going to kind of try to play it safe. I noticed my whole team was over there, so I'm going to wall run all the way back over here and see if maybe I can catch a few people coming off of this spawn now. It's just easy kills, to tell you the truth. Don't approach them while they're all on the base, because there's going to be like three or four of them. Wait till they come out and you can get some easy kills as they're sprinting out right there. That guy that I just killed, I'm pretty sure is going to be the same guy that comes back for me right there. That's the only reason why he approached out that way, kind of already knowing exactly where I was. So because he did that, I just went ahead and assumed he's going to come ahead and try to do the same thing again. So what you do is don't be predictable. I backed up a little bit. He didn't come. Now that I see that my guys are over here on C, I'm going to peek out real quick i did notice that there was a dot over there so i knew he was over there or i heard him or something for some reason i knew that guy was over there i would have never really approached that i would have already came all the way over here and i'm just going to continue to do the same thing playing it safe it's a little campy but it is the safe way and if you want to make sure you get this deatomizer you can't just go running out especially with no uav up say i had a uav up i might have a better idea of what's actually going on right now but i don't so i'm gonna play it smart and i'm gonna play it safe i think i'm one kill off right now so i'm just kind of waiting for this guy to come out and he's gonna peek look how slow that guy peeked out he knew exactly where i was again Fortunately, I was aiming right at that spot. I'm going to kill a couple more people, and look right here. This guy just completely spawns in front of me. Where was that kill when I needed it, when I was on the 24th kill? I'll take that guy spawning in front of me. So that was it for the kill streak. It was somewhere between a 45-50 kill streak. I'm going to throw my deatomizer strike here in the game. And like I said, this is the first of back-to-back -back deatomizer strikes I got. If you didn't see the other video, that one was on Sky Dock, and that was a nasty 63 kill streak juggernaut deatomizer strike. I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, definitely hit the like button. I'm going to have lots more deatomizer strikes. I got a bunch of chokes, actually, that are very entertaining that I'm going to show you guys soon. I'm going to be going through every map. I'm going to just kind of give you guys my tips of how to get a high KD on pretty much every single map in this game as I get the game plays and I'll just point out what I do and the strategic ways that I go through the map not to get the most kills but to get the high KDs that everybody's kind of looking to get like those 10 KDs plus so the game is gonna end right here we do end up losing which kind of stinks I don't know how we ended up losing right there I completely destroyed this team I got 70 kills only seven deaths 10 kill death ratio right there which is pretty nasty i started getting some messages people wanted to message you after you get a deatomizer strike sometimes look how many keys i got right there i'm saving up my keys i got 2070 i'm waiting for some good stuff to come into the packages and look at that kd it's rising 2.21 this has been champ at champ gaming come see me